Welcome you to the Minecrafters and Games of Life. My name is Billy D, and this is D the Tutorial. So today I got something fresh out the lab for you. YouTubers, Minecrafters, and gamers alike. My name is Deadly Deeds. And I am B.O.B. And welcome back to Skybox, Sky, uh, Skyblock by Aurora with Deeds and B. And, uh, well, I, I mean, we, we got some plans for today. Uh, as we mentioned in the last episode, we had disabled our villager breeder here because it just kind of got out of control. Oh, look, there's villager patrol right there. Uh, or a pillager patrol. Uh, anyway... So basically we need to replace that breeder and uh, we mentioned uh, going through the nether and finding another location to build that breeder. So that's basically what we're going to do. Well, we, I mean, we've already found the location. We're going to go to that portal today and Deeds is going to be working on the breeder itself. And then on the other side of that portal, I'm going to be building our sort of vending machine that we we spoke about in the last episode where we can kind of store the villagers until we're ready to ship them off into the locations where we need them such as uh, you know we're probably going to make more trading halls we're gonna, definitely going to make an iron farm uh, lots more stuff to do with villagers and we want to keep all them spread out this is how we're going to do it alright you guys so here we are this is the area where we are going to basically send our villagers from our breeder uh, you know we're gonna dig all of this out and we're gonna clear it out and B is going to start working on building our central station for our villagers and you know where we're gonna be able to ship an offer and everything so where are you gonna have the villagers come from Deeds? I'm glad you guys asked so right through this nether portal right here is a brand new biome you guys so uh, Deeds is going to have to build out and uh, build the breeder here this is breeder land uh, I don't know what biome we're in yet uh, we'll find out as we start building out the platform but this is pretty much where the breeder is going to be we're going to send them through the nether portal uh, into that system that B is going to be working on and that's pretty much what we're going to be working on this episode so We'll go ahead and give you an update uh, as we progress along, and uh, we'll be back. All right, everybody. Uh, well, I mean, as you can see, all the children are gone. <laughs> yeah, I did, I did get in touch with Deeds, and he came up here, went all Anakin Skywalker on them, and, <laughs> and we, we got it nice and cleared in here. We got just a couple of villagers. That guy's supposed to fall, but he hasn't fallen yet. We, we'll worry about that later. What we want to do is test this, make sure our uh, retrieval system is going to work. So I'm going to send in a cart to get him. Got him, and it takes him, puts him in the first stall. That's fantastic. Now, if we wanted to move him from here, hit that button. That's going to send him to the next open one. So it's going to bring him down here. Boom, boom. So that's how it's, how it's going to work. We're going to be able to send these guys on as we choose. If every single one of these stalls are full, obviously the villager's going to go straight through to the end of the track, and then we're going to be able to send them to our different... I mean, a little bit more tracks to run and a little a few redstone lines but for the most part this project is about done. all right everybody we just came back from the nether and these has of course been busy uh you know throughout the past week or two uh, it's been two weeks since our last episode uh but he's built a lot of things so he's going to take us on a little tour and show us what's changed all right you guys so gonna go ahead and give you a little bit more information about some of the changes that went on and some of the machines so let's go ahead and start with the reconstruction machine uh so some of you guys have seen this in the previous episode but didn't actually get a chance to see how it works so i thought i'd go ahead and give you a quick test and see how it works so let's go ahead and flip that switch on there uh, and uh, let's go ahead and start pumping out some concrete so, you know, this machine uh, obviously has helped me do a lot of builds um, and they're going to actually help me do a lot more. So, uh, yeah, this machine has been very useful. Uh, I'm actually creating some concrete for some things I'm going to be converting now. Uh, so just kind of wanted to give you guys an idea of basically how this baby works. All right, let's go ahead and cut that off. 
All right, and we got some in there, and uh, I have a way to where you won't be actually, uh, you know, pulling it all in your inventory. I'm just going to be making some adjustments on the top here, uh, but ultimately, yeah, that, that's pretty much what we got going on there, um, and as you can see, the possibilities are endless. All right, cool. All right, so next we got our nether portal uh, entrance. Uh, we've got it all decked out with some fiery and nether brick and nether rack, and uh, we got bubble tubes, uh, and we got uh, it got pretty much jazzed out here. So uh, just some updates that we made there. Uh, and we had, we got a little pumpkin pie uh, farm here just a novelty item for you guys to have uh, in the world and still working on it and, and boxing it up here uh, what we got here is we actually have our watermelon and pumpkin farm uh, so if you check that out these are pushing ridiculous numbers uh, you guys so uh, you'll see some tutorials on some of this stuff that I'm actually building here in this world uh, coming soon I've been having issues with my record equipment and uh, it's getting kind of hard to get these uh, uh, videos out but I got some new stuff coming and uh, we start pumping it out again soon so you've already you know familiar with the sugarcane farm which we've been indulging with the rockets and paper and things of that nature uh, is really pumping at a ridiculous rate here uh, let's go ahead and move along to the other side we made some changes to our cow farm just kind of uh, just I just kind of you know throw through some tone and texture to it uh, as you know we do have our villager based farm here that's pumping out uh, baked potatoes is pumping out bone meal carrots uh, regular potatoes uh, so yeah this thing is also pretty productive you guys uh, so and it's all you know done automatically here um, we have our AFK fish farm here which actually kind of got us a good start in this game uh, it's in the process of rebuilding it's gonna look different from when you guys first saw it uh, as I said we're getting stone and different things now so you know we Minecraft rich rich you know what I'm saying Minecraft rich so we just go kind of try to deck it out as much as we can all right so what we got going on here is we basically have our enchantment house that has all of our uh, villagers programmed and they are giving us all our enchantments for our equipment and things of that nature uh, so we have two floor of these guys uh, over here we pretty much took our barn and I transformed it uh, we have our Fletcher toolsmith masons and we, we got them selling all the stones and uh, everything that we need um, and we're stacking it up and here's the supply room uh, on the second floor here you guys we got uh, basically you know just a small tree farm that I was using to create charcoal we got a uh, super smelter it's not super super but it definitely uh, has helped me stack up on my supplies here um, and over here we have our enchanting center along with our enchanting table with, the, with you know level 30 uh, going on here all right uh, so those are the changes that we got for that all right and so let's go ahead and keep moving right over here we got the 16 color wool farm that's pumping out pretty good you guys uh, we're getting a, a steady round so now we'll be able to you know use as much wool as we have uh, moving forward we are going to be uh, decorating the pathways uh, giving them some definition as well as uh, pretty much spawn proofing the rest of this place now I think we got enough buildings to where we can kind of say we got established we got the animals that we need to produce what we need here uh, so I think at this point in time we can just stop all of the spawning of the other uh, annoying creatures that we really don't need here uh, so over there we got a kiosk uh, as you know the redstone where we got our cleric program where we're buying all of our redstone and things of that nature uh, so these are pretty much some of the changes that we've done so far uh, here uh, B's been pretty busy so I've just been kind of a busy B I do have some more things in store that I've done but we got to keep those for the next episode all right you guys eight on the villager breeder 
that we were having so many issues with so I've changed it up a few times uh, you know I do apologize about the lateness of the video I'm having problems with my recording equipment I got some new equipment on the way uh, so I'm definitely struggling to even get this video out to you I will be back resuming filming soon uh, so with that being said uh, this villager breeder here uh, I'm hoping that it'll do the trick uh, basically it's designed to uh, bring the villagers up from the railroad cart after they breed they drop down into the railroad cart one villager uh, including the babies they'll drop down into this pit here but they shouldn't be dropped off until they hit this trip wire which means they'll be grown at that point once they're grown they'll be knocked off this trip wire and they'll sit here and eventually this place will fill up because uh, as you know on half slabs these villagers kind of just stand around like this stupid pigman here uh, and pigman is going to be a problem but because we're not in the nether we won't get the whole batch of them so you may have to kill pigmen along the way but that's okay uh, once they're grown enough they'll go ahead and be able to hit this uh, once the uh, adults are you know the children are grown and that's just a fail save just in case this fails at some point in time uh, it only should activate the activator rail once it hits that trip wire which will automatically hit this activator rail here and it'll bounce them off only if they're an adult but if that does fail at some point in time or it picks up a random person then this would be the backup plan at that point uh, I got some other stuff in store that I'm working on in the into you what the second rail does and where it goes uh, when I update you next all right I'm gonna give you another update uh, on the breeder some food so let's press this button here all right, and give them some food. All right. So the planning for this is, is pretty simple, you guys. Uh, you know, they breed, um, and they have a child. The child eventually gets picked up by one of these carts that's going and goes towards uh, bees. Uh, train central you know station or whatever the case may be and the other one goes to another area that's very useful uh but at this point it'll be surprised so either way i go whether they grow up here outside on the track or they get picked up by the uh cart it'll be okay uh so you know we were trying to see if we could separate the kids from the adults and i think i came up with a semi-clever idea uh so if you go down these tracks here let me kind of show you what i'm talking about so as you come through the track here all right uh this side of the track if you notice right there there is some trip wire that's about too high so what happens is and we actually gonna have to keep breeding until we get uh, a child in here the child is going to grow up inside the cart once a child does grow up and he's too high he's going to hit that trip wire ultimately activating that activator rail and then it's going to knock them off right in here in this section once we get enough of those villagers in here uh, they basically will push each other into this trip wire which is also too high opening the portal and is sending them to the other side where b has the uh you know trains all right you guys time to go ahead and see this breeder work uh, so let me go ahead and throw some more beds down uh, obviously this is just a testing phase so we won't be keeping these villagers around to run them up uh, but we're just gonna go ahead and get this tested so let's see let's throw a couple beds down here all right and there we go we got them breeding go so what we finna do is we finna just start mass producing these guys and we're gonna let them grow up and when we come back we'll show you how everything works all right get them to go ahead and go into the nether so let's kind of watch it for a minute so as you can see look we got one to go nice one escape to the nether so we, as you can see we basically got this guy coming down he's gonna hit the trip wire and Alright everyone, that's about all the time we have for this episode today, or I mean, we've already, this is already a two-week episode, <laughs> we originally planned to do every week, but 
you know, we got some bigger projects. It takes a lot of time, and, and my time is very limited right now. So a lot of this stuff is getting done by deeds in the background. Um, but yeah, we're going to try and keep you updated as we go and as we as we uh, progress throughout all of this and add more buildings. And uh, real quick, I want to do invite everyone to join the Bob Discord server. I'm going to post a link to the description below of my video, as well as uh, you can follow me on Twitter for for video updates. Uh, I'll post a, that in the description as well. I'd like to thank everybody for watching and wish you all a wonderful day. And I am Deeds, you guys, so we will be giving you a panoramic view of everything at the end of my episode here. Uh, I definitely want to thank you guys for coming. Uh, please make sure you turn on notifications so you can see when we drop an episode. And as B said, you know, it's been a busy two weeks, a lot of things going on. We'll get back into the swing of things and trying to see if we can, uh, you know, get things out in a more timely manner. Uh, but until then, I'm Deeds. That's B. We out.